What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And if today is Monday and you're watching this video, that means that we have a free class tonight. Look at that link right there. Look at the link in the description of this video if you want to join tonight's free class. We're going to be doing exactly this, working on speed drills for all operations. Now, here's what this pretty much means. We're going to be learning how to basically take advantage of our knowledge of operations like multiplication, division, addition, subtraction to make problems like this go by much, much faster. Because remember, on the ASVAB, yeah, I know that we can go ahead and take our time and do this, but it's not about being able to do it. It's about being able to do it as quickly as possible. So if you want to learn how to go ahead and really speed up the process and really raise your confidence, then go ahead. There's a link right there, asvab.info slash class, or you can check the link in the description here to join and register. It comes with a free practice test and video solutions. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how cool this is going to be tonight. So first things first, let's look at the first problem here, 105 divided by 15. Here's the problem with something like this. If we wanted to do that, and you want to do long division, look at how long it'll take you with long division. You're checking this out and you're like, all right, 15 into 105, 15 can't go into one, can't go into 10. Oh, okay. Why are we doing long division to begin with if we know that we're going to have to go ahead and guess and check, right? It's going to take a while. And so instead of doing it like that, instead of taking the time to you know, pretty much torture yourself, here's what you can do. The easier way is like this. Instead of dividing by 15, you can think of 105 divided by 15. You can think of it as 105 divided by five and divided by three. Because if you divide by three and divide by five, that's the same as dividing by 15. Just like multiplying by three and multiplying by five is the same as multiplying by 15, Dividing by 3 and dividing by 5 is the same as dividing by 15. You see what I'm saying here? You see what I'm getting at? This is a technique that you can absolutely use to your advantage here. Because I'm going to go ahead and make this a lot faster by doing this. I'm going to say I have 105. Again, I'm going to say divided by 5 because that's probably going to be the easier number. And then I'll divide by 3. That's seriously how you can set it up. Because remember... Dividing by 3 and dividing by 5 is the same as dividing by 15, just the same way with multiplication too. So, here we go. How do I take care of 105 divided by 5? Well, think of it like this. How many times does 5 go into 100? 5 goes into 100 20 times. 20 times 5? 100. So what about 105? Well, that's just one extra 5. So that'll be 21. Again, one more time. 5 goes into 100 20 times. So five goes into 105 21 times, just one extra five, one group of five. So with that, this turns into 21 divided by three in your head, 21 divided by three is seven, booyah. And just to confirm this, just to show you how useful this actually is, take a look here, watch this, 15 times seven, look at how useful this is, seven times five, 35. And then from here, okay, one times seven is seven plus three is 10. And there you have it. You can check your work nice and easy. But using this technique is so important because again, it saves you time and it helps you keep that confidence as opposed to going through a long process of operations and then you're like, wait, did I do that right? We don't want that feeling, right? So let's go ahead and try it out again right over here with 360 divided by 24. So again, the long way is going to be, hey, 24 going into 360. That's the long way. You can save yourself a lot of time by doing this. You can go ahead and say, hey, what's another way to divide by 24 that would fit with 360? Well, there's a few different ways, a few different. You can set it up like this. You can set it up as 360 divided by 12 divided by 2 because 12 times 2 is 24. You could set it up like that. You could also set it up like 360 divided by, you could say, 6 and then divided by 4. That's another way to take care of things because six can go into 36 pretty easily. Again, it's up to you. You have to make sure that you are willing to try to find the easiest way to get it done, the quickest way to get it done. And here, I'm gonna go with this first method right here. So first, 360 divided by 12. Well, 36 divided by 12 is three. So 360 divided by 12 is 30. So that becomes very, very quickly, very easily, 30 divided by two. And what's 30 divided by two? Cut that in half, 15. And there's your answer, 15 would be it. So the point of this mod porter people was to show you 
One, when it comes to doing math, you want to make sure you understand more than one way to do it. Because two, it's about saving time on the test itself. And so if you wanna learn more about that, again, we got a free practice test with a free class tonight if you're watching on a Monday. Um, and the thing is, I try to make sure that this is worth it in every step, every single day. So with that said, here's the free practice test. Um, it gives you, again, video solutions to every single one of those problems. That way, you can grow from every mistake, and then it also registers you automatically for my free classes once a week. If you wanna know about my full program, then just feel free to shoot me a text, 567-698-8867. That is my uh, personal line. You can go ahead and shoot me a text, letting me know that you're interested in the full program because you saw me on YouTube, and me or one of my teammates will go ahead and help you out. Again, I'm Anderson, your ASVAP coach. Happy to be so, and I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully I'll see you in tonight's class. Don't forget to register. Feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. That way you can get more. See ya.